guys welcome to cat react i'm back yes i am finally back it is 2022 finally and i am just so excited to start this new year with you guys i have so many films planned and we are back up and running now i can do four videos a week just like i did before i went on my holiday hopefully soon i'll be able to do five a week like every weekday and I have so many plans for this channel. I am actually going to try a new format because YouTube has been... YouTube has just been a, a B-word. Let's just call it what it is. They've been a B-word to me because of copyrights. The worst part for me is honestly watching an entire film and give a reaction to it, cutting it down, spending the whole... This is a whole day's work, guys. This is a whole day's worth of work. And then YouTube is like, no, I'm going to block it. I cut it down and I cut it down and eventually I've cut it down to like 10 minutes and they're still like nope we're gonna like it so I'm like okay fine just get rid of it it pisses me off so I'm like okay I'm gonna try a new format you guys are with me on this journey and we'll just go ahead and, and see how things progress so today guys I am going to watch a highly requested film a highly requested and I've been putting it off because this is a little bit older film than I am used to like I try to watch 80s and 90s mostly People were just constantly telling me, you need to watch the old, the old couple, you need to watch the old couple. So today, guys, I am going to do just that. I am going to start this new year with the bomb. I am going to watch the odd couple from 1964, 68? Somewhere around the 60s. So I'm going to start with the first one. I know there are two, and the second one is, I think, from the 80s or something. I might do that as well later on. I am actually really, really excited to check this film out. You guys have been recommending it constantly, and now I'm going to watch it. So... If you want to join me on the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on, and let's go. A room, please. Good night. Goodbye. Is he planning to kill himself? I hope not. Ugh. Ugh. Jack, honey, let's be reasonable here. Let's think about this. See, the hotel doesn't even want him to kill himself. The window won't open. Oh. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I'm really worried about Felix. He's never been this late before. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. The pot shy, who didn't put in a quarter? You didn't. Let me $20. I just loaned you $20. Borrow from somebody else. I keep wanting my own money back. Hey, maybe that's Felix. Hello, Blanche. How are you? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea why you're calling. I'm a week behind with a check, right? Very nice language in front of the children. So I'm guessing he's a good father, he's just a shitty husband. I told you you'd get into trouble, it's because you don't know how to manage anything. I should know him, your accountant. He owes money to his wife, his government, his friends, and he still won't take it seriously. Life goes on even for those of us who are divorced, broke, and sloppy. You know, divorced, broke, and sloppy. <laughs> All right, I am honestly thinking of answering my phone like this. Whenever someone calls, I'm just gonna... Well, I'm not divorced, so I'm gonna have to be... Married, broken, sloppy. <laughs> that was awesome. Murray, it's your wife. Who, Felix? No, he didn't show up tonight. What's wrong? All right, Mimi, I'll take care of it. Goodbye. Felix is missing. What do you mean missing? What do you mean missing? He didn't show up for work today. He didn't come home tonight. Nobody knows where he is. Mimi just spoke to his wife. He's got 92 credit cards in his wallet. The minute something happens to him, America lights up. I'll call his wife. Francis, how are you? Uh, uh, Oscar, do you have any idea at all where he could be? You're kidding. I didn't know. No, he never told me. The minute I hear anything, I'll let you know. Hello? You gonna tell us or do we hire a private detective? Yeah, hello. I need to know. Spill it. They broke up. Oh. You're kidding. After 12 years? They were such a happy couple. Well, that always seems like that on the outside, doesn't it? Where'd he go, Oscar? He went out to kill himself. Why? Why? Because Felix is a nut, that's why. No, he seems like just an overly sensitive guy. What are we gonna say? We don't say nothing like we never heard a thing. Are you through with this discussion? Because he already could have hung himself out in the hall. Vinny, open the door. Oh, hi, Felix. Hi. Hi, Phil. Hi, hi Felix. Felix. Yeah. Sorry I'm late. Anybody uh, call about me? Call? Uh, about you? No. Uh, nobody called, nobody called. They can maybe move the guy who is at suicide risk away from the window. They're up on the, like, 20th floor. 
calm down. I'm sorry. I can't help it. He makes me nervous. I make you nervous. You make me nervous. You make everybody nervous. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll kill myself. Marie! I'm oh, sorry. That's a pretty view from here. What is it, 12 floors? No, it's only 11 floors, that's all. I want to know what happened. I guess I'll just be running alone. <laughs> oh, oh, feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, there's nothing to talk about. There's just nothing to say, Oscar. It's over. Maybe it was just a fight. You've had fights before, no, Felix. No. It's over. She's getting a lawyer tomorrow. It's all right, Felix. We understand. Don't tell anybody about this, Vinny. Now, you promise me. Maybe one of us should stay. All right, it's okay, Marie. Probably Oscar. He lives there. No, he won't try anything again. How do you know he won't try anything again? I'm not going to try anything again. I'm very tired. Take away his belt and his shoelaces. Twelve years of marriage down the drain. Drains can be fixed. That's why we have plumbers. You don't understand. I'm nothing without my wife and kids. You don't, I'm nothing. Then tell her that. You're a person. You're the only one of its kind in the world. What about Francis? What about Francis? The divorce is much harder on the woman. She's all alone with the kids, stuck there in the house. She can't get out like me. Felix, can we stop talking about Francis? <sighs> what would you like me to do, Oscar? Just forget about her? How do you wipe out 12 years of marriage just like that? You can't spend the rest of your life crying. It annoys people in the movies. <laughs> What's the matter? It's cold. It's the air conditioning. He's really tense. I know he's going through a rough patch, but he strikes me as a really, really tense guy. My ears are filling up. I got this sinus condition. It's the change in temperature. I always get it from air conditioning. <laughs> I'm starting to see why his wife kicked him out. <laughs> ah. Dude, please. <laughs> Did it open up? Uh, no. I think I strained my throat. I'm a compulsive cleaner. Always cleaning up after Francis. And then I go into the kitchen and recook her meals because I'm also a much better cook than she is. No wonder she kicked him out. God, I would have been insane. Recooked her meal. Really, dude? My God. I hate me. Oh boy, do I hate me. You think you're impossible to live with? <laughs> Blanche used to say to me, uh, what time do you want dinner? I'd say, I don't know, I'm not hungry. Then, 3 o'clock in the morning, I'd wake her up and I'd say, now. I'm never home, I gamble, I burn cigar holes in furniture, drink like a fish, lie to her every chance I get. Boy, are you guys top-notch husbands. I don't, I don't think I can take it living alone, Oscar. Can you move in here with me? No, all right, it's your apartment, I'd just be in the way. Don't you understand? I want you to move in. If I do anything that irritates you or gets on your nerves, don't be afraid to tell me, huh? You are, sweetie. Hello. Oh, hello, Francis. I'm not here. Yes, he's here. Does she want to speak? I don't want to talk to her. No, no, he's, uh, he's going to stay here with me. Yeah, and you can tell her that I'm not coming back there either because I've had it. You've had it? You've had it. Do you hear yourself? Listen, Francis, you want to speak to him? Give me the phone and I'll speak to her. Oh, you don't want to speak to him. She doesn't want to speak to me. Yes, I understand. Okay, good night, Francis. She doesn't want to speak to me? No. You don't want to speak to her, dude. So, even. She finally made me realize it's over. Didn't sink in until just this minute. My marriage is really over. I'm going to be all right. That's the spirit. That's the confidence. How's the game going? Not great. Where's your coaster? My what? The coaster. A little round thing that goes under the glass. They leave little rings on the table. And little rings on the table? And we don't want little rings on the table. Uh, what is it? Bacon, lettuce, and tomato with mayonnaise on pumpernickel toast. You mean you just made it? <laughs> you know I love it. Eat over the dish. I just mm. vacuumed the rug. Oh, God. Mm. Okay. Good. <laughs> Who turned off the dehumidifier? The what? The dehumidifier. Fellas, I asked you, don't play with this thing, huh? I'm trying to get some of the grime out of the air. She can't take it anymore. I have had it up to here. I'm not giving up my Friday nights to watch cooking and cleaning. I can't breathe. That lousy machine is sucking everything out of the air. The day his marriage busted up was the end of our poker game. Speed, wait a minute. You can't run out now. I'm a big loser. You got no one to blame but yourself. It's your fault. You're the one who stopped him from killing himself. Would you rather have him dead? Who threw a pickle on my floor? Your floor? What is that smell? It's the cards. He washed the cards. I'm getting out of here. I can't stand anymore. Nature didn't intend for poker to be played like that. He's not wrong. Where is everybody? Oh, I guess no one feels like playing tonight. I better be going, too. They just don't know what it's like living alone, do they? What's wrong, Oscar? I don't think that two single men living alone in a big eight-room apartment should have a cleaner house than my mother. 
Last night I found you in the kitchen, washing the floor, shaking your head and moaning, footprints, footprints. I didn't say they were yours. Well, they were mine, damn it. I have feet and they make prints. Well, I just want you to walk on the floor. Oh, well, I appreciate that. I really Look, do. All I'm trying to do is keep this place livable. I didn't know I irritated you that much. You can have a livable place. It doesn't have to be, like, crazy clean. Jesus, dude. Why can't I do just one lousy thing right? No. Why didn't you throw it? Why didn't he throw the cup? That would honestly relieve the tension he's feeling within. Just throw the damn cup. Clean it up afterwards. Why don't you let loose once in your life? Do something that you feel like doing, not what you think you're supposed to do. Come on, break the lousy cup! Ow! I hurt my arm! Woo! You're hopeless. You're a hopeless mental case. He's hopeless, but he did throw the cup. That's a start. I may not be the easiest person in the world to live with. That's the understatement of the year. You could have done a lot worse, a whole lot worse. When are you and I going to have some fun, a little relaxation? Get out of the house. Eat over the plate. Fun. Not going to hear another peep out of me. That is not what we mean by cutting loose. Chill. All I want to do is have dinner and some laughs with a couple of girls. Can't you go out yourself? Anyway, who would I call? I don't even know any single girls. Leave that to me, will you? There are two sisters who live in our building, English girls. One is a widow, the other one is a divorcee. They're a barrel of laughs. How do you know? I was trapped in the elevator with them last week. What are they? Old? I mean, you know, how? Old. 30, 35? What's the matter Older? with you? They're young. They're young kids. Where did you say you met them? Where are we going to have dinner? What? Where are we going to have dinner? Yeah, any, anywhere, anywhere you say. Uh, Chinese, Italian. You mean a restaurant, the four of us. Yeah, it'll cost a fortune. We'll eat here. Here? I'm going to cook and we'll save $30, $40. Who are you calling? Francis, I want to get a recipe for meatloaf. Dude, it's probably in the middle of the night. Why are you calling your ex-wife for recipes so that you can cook for your new date? Boy, you are a special case, aren't you? I'm home, dear. Let's come down a little bit with the lights. And up very softly with the music, huh? Um, Felix is feeling a bit more tense than usual. Eh? What's wrong with Felix? Why does he look like he wants to murder him? All right, Felix, what is it? What is it? Let's start with what time do you think it is? I don't know, 7.30? Try 8 o'clock. All right, so it's 8 o'clock, so? Well, you said you'd be home at 7. All right, so I said I'd be home at 7, and it's 8, so what's the problem? You knew you were going to be late. Why didn't you call me? You mean now I got to call you if I'm coming home late for dinner? Just the ones that I've been slaving over since 5 o'clock this afternoon to help save you money to pay your wife's alimony. Well, I'm sorry. He wanted to go to a restaurant. You didn't let him. Now, if we don't eat within 15 seconds, the whole damn thing will be dried out. 15 seconds? Why are you cooking something that will go dry in 15 seconds? You want to talk to me, buddy? Put down that spoon. Yeah, spoon! Spoon! <laughs> you dumb ignoramus, that is a ladle. You did not know that's a ladle. So? He is scaring the bejesus out of me right now. He's gonna kill him, isn't he? We're gonna see someone dead in this film. I, I'm telling you. Felix, I'd like you to meet two elevator acquaintances of mine. <laughs> Gwendolyn and Cecily. No, Cecily and Gwendolyn. <laughs> oh, terribly sorry. Cecily and Gwendolyn. <laughs> Cecily and Gwendolyn Pigeon. I'd like you to meet my roommate and our chef for the evening, Mr. Felix Unger. Oh, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> what is wrong with them? Are they, like, behind or something? What's going on here? <laughs> what is with these sisters? And ever so much cooler than our place. Oh, yeah. Cooler. Why don't you sleep with an air conditioner? Well, we haven't got one. I know, but we have. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> Dirty dog. Yeah, they say it may rain Friday. <laughs> oh. This is so awkward. I'm sure the girls would like to have a little cocktail first, wouldn't you, girls? Oh, well, I wouldn't put up a struggle. There you are. <laughs> well, it'd be. Oh, um, a double vodka. Oh, darling, mm. please, not before dinner. And for the beautiful mother hen? Oh, um, oh, um, oh. She's going to have double vodka, guys, before dinner. Before dinner. She's going to be pissed. She's going to be rolling down the stairs. Don't forget to look at my meatloaf. I hate uncomfortable situations like this. I hate it. Can we be done with this? Can we be done with this situation? This entire situation? Can they just leave? Oscar tells me your sisters. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Yeah, that was established by the door. That's right. It's from England. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Great, ask about England. Have them tell you something about England. How long have you uh, two been in uh, uh, the United States of America? Four, four inches. Yes, almost four years now. Just visiting? No, 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 we live here. Mm. Who visits for four years? On what field of endeavor are you engaged in? Uh, I write the news for uh, television. Where do you get your ideas from? The, the ideas for the news? From uh, uh, the news. Well, maybe you can mention Gwen and I in one of your news reports. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you murder someone or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good! Although technically, I am a widow. Technically? What, are you just pretending he's dead, or...? I, I was divorcing my husband, but he died before the final papers came through. Oh, hmm. Well, that's my little boy and girl. Oh, hey, he's seven, and she's five. Oh, oh sweet. Yeah? Well, you certainly are a devoted father. Mm. Well, it's Frances who's the wonderful one. She's done a terrific job in bringing them up. She always looks so nice. Well, she's a wonderful woman. She's the kind of a woman who... Oh, God. My guy, you're on a date. You're on a date with these two beautiful women. Who, I might add, sound like pigeons. But they're lovely. They're awesome. So just... About your wife, please. Would you like some potato chips? <laughs> I think it's a rare quality in a man to be able to cry. <laughs> Don't you cry? <laughs> now you got me thinking about poor Sydney. Oh, Quinn, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't know what brought... The Saab Fest of 68. Is everybody happy? <laughs> what the hell happened? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You left him alone with them. That's what happened. I forgot to warn you about Felix. <laughs> he's, a, he's a walking soap opera. I, I th think he's the dearest thing I've ever met. He's so sensitive. I better get some corned beef sandwiches. Why don't we eat up at our place? That's a wonderful idea. Can't you make it four? I'm starving to death. Oh, ooh, don't forget the wine. How can I forget the wine? And a corkscrew. And a corkscrew. Mm. I'm not going. Are you out of your mind? What do you mean you're not going? I have nothing left to say to them. Oh, boy, Felix, you are so not ready. I cried in front of two women. And they loved it. I'm thinking of getting hysterical. You're coming upstairs with me. I'm not going. This is the person you're going to be until the day you die? Uh, what we are. No, we grow. That's what makes us human. It's 12 floor, not 11! Oscar, that's not nice. I know he's doing it to make a point, but I'd be hella annoyed. I'd be so mad. Come on, man. Was that necessary? All right, how long is this going to go on? You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. You had your chance to talk last night. I beg you to come upstairs with me. Now kindly remove that spaghetti from my poker table. I would move out. It's not spaghetti, it's linguine. <laughs> Ooh. Now it's garbage. I'm not cleaning that up. Is that a promise? Look at it. It's hanging all over the wall. I like it. Well, I'm cleaning it. Leave that alone. Touch one strand of that linguine, and I'm gonna punch you right now, in your side. You better pull yourself. Hey, Oscar, come on now. Now listen, why don't you just take a tranquilizer? Go to your room. You want to live through this night? You better keep this door locked and lock your windows too. Someone is going to die. Either of them is going to kill the other one. I'm still sticking to that prediction. All right, Oscar. I'd like to know what's happened. Something made you go off the deep end like that. Now, what is it? Is it something I said or something I did? Everything. Can't take it anymore, Felix. I'm cracking up. Get off of my back, Oscar. Now, get off. Off. You got anything on your chest besides your chin? You better get it off. All right, then you asked for it. Oh. You're a wonderful guy, Oscar. You've done everything for me. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to me. Am I missing something? I'm confused. That's it. You've been told off. How do you like that? Good. Good. I'm going to tell you. For six months, I lived alone in this apartment. And then you moved. My closest and dearest friend. And after three weeks of close personal contact, I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. I'm asking you nicely, Felix, as a friend. Stay out of my way. 
Oh my god. Walk on the paper, will you? I wash the floor in there. Hey, ask, ask, stay away from me. Ask, ask, I'm gonna kill you. This is the day I'm gonna kill you. Oh, Oscar. It's all over, Felix. The whole marriage, we're getting an annulment. Don't you understand? I don't want to live with you anymore. You mean move out this minute? Because if you really want me to go, I'll go. Then go! Boy, you're in a bigger hurry than Francis was. What happens to me is your responsibility. Let it be on your head. Let what be on my head? Is he threatening to kill himself again? Let what be on my head? No. All right, Felix, you win. We'll try to iron it out. Come back, Felix. Felix! He doesn't want to. You heard him. You mean you, you, you just threw him out? That's right. I threw him out. It was my decision. All right, I admit it. Let it be on my head. Let what be on your head? How should I know? Felix put it there. Ask him. Why don't we stop worrying and start looking? Come on, what are you standing around for? How are we going to find him? It's a big city. Come on, Oscar. Play a few hands. Take your mind off Felix. Then stop mentioning his name. He never should have moved in here in the first place. He misses him. I think I smell spaghetti. Not spaghetti, it's linguine. Don't you even care what happens to Felix? Oh, I love that. Damn it, I'm not worried. Oh, hello. How do you do? She mad. I've come for Felix's things. He went to her? You mean my Felix? Oh, yes, yes, Felix Unger. That sweet, tortured man who's in my flat at this moment, pouring his heart out to my sister. Felix doesn't want to stay. Please tell him to stay. There's plenty of room on the sofa. I'll be in the way. Why I be in the way? How could you possibly be in anyone's way? Oh, ask Oscar. Well, maybe just for a few days. Oh, that's wonderful! <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> Felix, what about next Friday night? You're not going to break up the poker game, are you? To me, never. But marriage may come and go, but the game must go on. So yeah. long, Francis. So long, Blanche. Okay, let's talk about it. All right, that was me watching The Odd Couple for the first time. I loved it. I honestly did. I just adore these two guys together. Jack Lemmon and Malta Matthau. This sort of comedy duo, it only comes once in a lifetime. If that. The, the, the chemistry between these two is just dynamic. It's electrifying. And I imagine it must have been like a groundbreaking film at the time, being from the 60s, showing two guys living together, one who's like cooking and cleaning and all that. I loved it. Five out of five. I hope you enjoyed this reaction, guys. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe also. It really helps this channel out. And I'll see you in the next video.